Tracy Martin. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. On behalf of New Zealand First, I rise to join with others in thanking Mary. I haven't been here very long, but um, one of the things I, I remember and I acknowledge and I thank Mary for, and I know that our new MPs will, is the efforts that she and her officers have put into supporting us. I've um, had the privilege to travel since I've been in this job, and one of the things that I have discovered or rediscovered is the fact that actually politicians come and go, but it's the public servants and people like yourself that actually hold our democracy together. It is you who, sorry, you Mr Speaker also, but Mary um, and her team who make sure that we follow the rules, because most of the time we spend our lives pushing against the rules, pushing those boundaries. Um, and we push you to your limits at times, both you, Mr Speaker, and Mary. Um, so, Mary, just very quickly, on behalf of us all in New Zealand First, we want to acknowledge the many things, the many years that it's taken you to get to that position. As a woman and a feminist, I want to acknowledge you smashing that wee glass ceiling. I hope it stays broken. David, that's nothing against you. We expect to have great things from you. But to you, Mary, all the best. Nothing interferes with life so much as work. So I'm sure that there are so many more things, so, many, much, so much more that you will give to us as a country once you return from your cycling holiday in Italy, because uh, you won't be able to help yourself. You're that type of person, Mary. So welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you from all of us here. Kia ora. Speaker.